Hi, in this video, we're going to show that the cosine of pi over two plus x is equal to minus sine x. Let's go ahead and carefully go through this solution. There's an identity that we're going to use in this problem. The identity tells us that if you have the cosine of a plus b, that's equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b, and then you switch the sign because there's a plus, we're going to put a minus here. So minus sine of A and then sine of B. Pretty easy to memorize. And if you had a minus here, if you had cosine of A minus B, it would be exactly the same, except instead of a minus over here, you would have a plus. So you just flip the sign. Now we can write down our left hand side of our equation. We have the cosine of pi over 2 plus x. And so we can see here that pi over 2 is going to be a and x is uh, going to be b. So this is the cosine of a, so cosine of pi over 2 times the cosine of b, so the cosine of x, and then minus sine of a, so that's sine of pi over 2, And then we have sine of b, that's going to be the sine of x. This is equal to, now we can think about the unit circle. So I'm going to draw it over here just so you have a little visual. Here's the unit circle. And on the unit circle, every ordered pair has the form cosine theta, comma sine theta. Super important, super useful, super powerful. And so here, you, if you look at pi over 2, that's up here. And so this is the unit circle. So this ordered pair here is going to be 0, 1, because x is 0 and y is 1, because it's a circle of radius 1, so the y coordinate is 1. The cosine is the x coordinate at pi over 2, right? Cosine of pi over 2 is the x coordinate there. So it's going to be 0 times cosine of x minus, and then the sine of pi over 2, well, that's the y coordinate at pi over 2, so that's 1 times the sine of x. So that's just equal to 0 minus the sine of x, which is equal to minus the sine of x. And that completes our proof. I like to put a little box with an x at the end of our little proofs. So pretty simple. If you know the formula, you just apply it directly to the cosine of pi over 2 plus x, and then go from there. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Until next time, good luck.